for 30 years now, some of you know that I started an organization called Bond, the Brotherhood Organization of a New Destiny. And our purpose is to rebuild the family by rebuilding the man and bringing back the order of God because our battle is a spiritual battle. It's a warfare between good and evil, right versus wrong. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spirits and principalities and wickedness in high places. And all have sinned and must be born again of God, the spirit of God. Those who are born and all are through the flesh are dying. Those who are born of the spirit are living. So we have been pointing that way back for 30 years now. It's been amazing. We are now heard around the world by everybody and their mama. Uh, we do counseling, provide counseling service. And my schedule is so busy, folks. Uh, the counseling schedule is, is uh, up until near the end of September, maybe the end of September now. We're working with men and women of all races around the world. It's amazing. We counsel by phone, FaceTime, Skype, Skype or in-house. And it's just amazing. I never imagined 30 years ago that Bond would turn out to be and be as helpful as it is now. Because it started out slow. Well, it really didn't start out slow. But, you know, it's a growing thing. And I have come to understand that there's no such thing as racism, sexism, homophobiaism, Islamophobiaism, Debbie Dadism, white supremacism, uh, anti Semitism, Allah U Abbaism. None of those things. It's either right or wrong, good or evil. And I, as soon as I woke up, I realized back 31 years ago that black people were not suffering because of slavery or Jim Crow or systemic racism of police brutality and all that crap. They're lying to you about The children of Satan are totally lying to you about it, but they can't help it. They can't see, so they believe the lie too. And uh, what I realized is that anyone who has been turned away from his or her father on earth has been turned away from God. And that the blacks are suffering because they Number one, been turned away from their fathers and turned toward their mothers. They have anger, they're immoral, and their homes are broken. And if you don't have that perfect example in the home, you're going to end up on the streets. You're going to end up angry. You become a victim in your mind because Satan is your daddy. And so we have been pointing the right way back to the father, the earthly father. And through him, you can believe in God because when you love the son, you love the father. So when you love your earthly fathers, you automatically love God. But when you're angry at your earthly fathers, you're also angry at God. You can't love him. How can you love God who you never seen and hate your father? Amazing, right? All those things are in the scriptures, but you don't hear the preachers talk about them. They may throw it around. Oh, they'll mention it, but they have no understanding about it. You must return to your fathers. There will come a day when I will return the children to the fathers and the fathers to the children. And that means adult fathers, I mean adult children as well as young children. And when you don't love your earthly father, you you have suicidal thoughts. You you are uh, less likely to succeed in life. You might do a little money, but that's not success. 
you end up in jail, abortions, all kinds, get printed out of wet lot, all kinds of things. You blame others for your failure. You're subject to women. Women are subject to weak men. It's a real mess. Hatred. No love. And you pay a price for it. And mothers, the number one worst thing that you can do to your children is to turn them away from their fathers. You're doing the devil's work, as the Christian would say. You're working for Satan. Satan is your daddy. You have no love for your children, for your husband, your father, your mother, anyway, for yourself. No love. And you can always tell when boys and girls, men and women, have been turned away from their fathers, they have anger. They're living in their imagination. But you can overcome. You must forgive. I have even more proof for you right now that the worst thing that can happen to children, boys and girls, is to be turned away from their fathers. I've often heard people say, well, Women can't raise children. I can't be a mother. I can't be a father for my kids. And they're right about that. And the reason is, it's not in the mother's nature to be a father for the boys or the girls. She can't do it. And those women who are pretending that they're strong, strong woman, you're lying to yourself. Your ego have you lying to yourself. You're pretending. It's not working. You don't have peace, but you're pretending. And it's never going to work. You must be born again of the Father. You must return to the Father. I want to show you even more proof of what happens when children are turned away from their fathers. And when I say children, I mean adult and young children. Fathers love their children. When they leave the mother, they don't leave you. They leave their mothers. The children, mothers, they love their children, but you've been lied to. Your father was an alcoholic. Your father was this, your father was that. Don't believe it. Here is uh, proof that men, you are needed, and especially fathers. This is from YouTube. American singer slash songwriter, a woman by the name of Larner Hills. No. Lloyd here, Hills where her daughter, uh, Sela Louise Marley, Marley, Sela Louise Marley. I've never heard of these folks. I heard of Laurie Hill. Um, she went on YouTube or something to describe the struggles, describe the struggles in her life and how they stem from Growing up without a father. Watch this. I have a form of split personality to some degree. I feel like a part of me stopped growing at the age that my dad left. So whenever that stopped, <laughs> you know, like, I feel like something just stopped. Or maybe it never grew. It never developed. Especially when it comes to men, like males in my life. They bring out this such a dark, dark, dark thing inside of me because I'm like, I feel like I need them. I feel like I need them. I need them. Like, but I, but I hurt them because I'm mad at them because I'm mad at my father for not being around. But like, I need them because I don't have a father. So I need someone. So it's like, I need you, but I'm hurting you, but I need you, but I'm hurting you. But, and it makes no sense. And, I, and it's not that I have no control over it, but it feels like I have no control over it. It feels like I have no control over myself. I just lose my shit because I'm just like, yo, something is not right. Something is just not right and I just don't understand what it is. And I think yesterday it finally clicked that I have severe daddy issues like very severe daddy issues. And so I've just been like, and now I'm looking, now I'm just looking up like, what does it mean to have a father? What does that feel like? What does that look like? That's amazing. My heart breaks for her. 
I totally understand it. If y'all run into her, just tell her, forgive her mother and forgive her father for not being there. She'll be fine. Find her father and ask him what happened. She is the granddaughter of Bob Marley. So apparently her mother, this woman, Lorna or whatever, Lauren was married to Bob Marley. Well, not, I don't know if they were married, but they lived together at least. Bob Marley's son, Rohan Marley. And, and they have five children, I'm told, even though they never got married. That's amazing, right? What a beautiful looking, what should be a family. And they split up after a while, and this girl was left without her father. It's interesting that she would, when I see young people go on YouTube and talk about this stuff, they're really looking for help. Lorna, the mother of the daughter, describes um, their relationship as long and compl complicated history. Because when you do it the wrong way, folks, it's not going to work out. I've been through that. I've done all that. So I know what that's like. Have sex out of wedlock. Make babies out of wedlock. It doesn't work. You have to be right and do right. But Bob Marley, I remember, I used to really like his music. He was a, and then he smoked a lot of pot, I think. Because I think the people from Jamaica said, tend to smoke a lot of pot. It's I think it's this thing over there. But he was a good singer. I remember really liking his uh, music. They, for some reason, they think pot come from God. <laughs> God wants them to be high. I don't know if Bob Marley thought that, but I know the Jamaican potheads think that. Um, that's proof right there that you need your father and what's missing in you what you're longing for that little empty space that you have as though something is missing even though you get all the money you want you can live in whatever neighborhood you can burn down destroy that longing that you have is for a father you're longing for the father that's why you must return to the Father. And once you do, your, your mind will be renewed. The emotion will be taken away from you. You will have perfect peace. This young girl describes her experience of going through therapy for these issues. Do we have a soundbite on that? Here's that clip, soundbite B. Watch this. No, I'm definitely going to go to therapy. I mean, that's, of course, I've been to therapy, but <laughs> I've been to therapy a million times, but sometimes I just feel like they don't get straight to the point. Like, <laughs> it's like, to me, Why you clip that? this is an urgent matter. Yeah. And for them, I'm just another one of their patients. And so for me, it's like life or death. Like, if you don't give me a tool, by the, end, by the end of this conversation, the next time we talk, I'm gonna have something else to say. Like, I, something else I did, something else I fed up on. And, like, I just need to know how to handle it better, handle my emotions better. Amazing. How sad is that? You pay all that money to see these dumb therapists because they have degrees and they know nothing. This girl could have been over this a long time ago. She's so clear in what she's doing and that she missed her father. Hey, forgive your father. Go to your father. Forgive your mother for turning you away from your father. Talk to your father. Forgive him for not being there for you. And you'll be fine. It'll be all over. It's just that simple. You don't need antidepressant medication. You don't need tons and tons of therapy. You just need to forgive, return to your father, and you will be completed. She's 21 years old, and you know how the millennials, they curse. Every other, that's their second language, so forgive that F word. 
The F bomb. Um, so it'd be amazing if we could get her on the show. We're going to try. But if y'all know her or can whatever with her, FaceTime or find her, tell her to forgive her mother for turning her away from her father, her father for not being able to deal with her mother and be there for her. And she'll be fine. That's all it takes, folks. It's a spiritual thing. And everyone who's turned away from the father, earthly father, you're turned away from God. And that's that emptiness that you feel. Excuse me. A longing for the father. And she talked about how when she's dating, I guess she, she'd be mean to the guy. She'd be good. She'd be mean. She, she love, but she hates this because Women are looking for a father's love, guys. They're not looking to get screwed. You're looking for a mama's love, and you're trying to find it through screwing the woman. But the woman is looking for a father's love, someone that is of love. And they need you to be that way, to bring them out of that hell they're in. This young lady is describing what she needs, a father's love. And that void that you have will leave. It will disappear once you return to your father's. Here is somebody see where she, uh, what's her name? Sally? Sella describes how she doesn't want to take responsibility. Watch this. I'm like kicking my feet inside because I'm just like, I don't want to take responsibility for this. Like, I don't want to because why should I? Because my, like, this is not... This is not even for me to take responsibility for. That's this right. is my father and my mother who weren't around or who fucking like, and now I'm here fixing myself from their shit. Like, like what do I? Fucking, I don't. I don't even know where to go. I just don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. But obviously, it can't go on like this. It can't go on like this because. I just have no control. Like, I lose complete control over myself. Amazing. And she is not responsible for that. It's not her fault. Not one iota. It's not her fault. And that's where a lot of people do. They take responsibility for that. They blame themselves and it get worse. What she's going through now is her father and mother's fault. And it's nice that she's an adult and now she's seeking to overcome it. And I believe she's going to find it. The fact that she's questioning it, she knows that something is wrong. That's the beginning of overcoming. It's the beginning of overcoming, so she'll find it. Because she's searching now. She knows something. And she knows it has a lot to do with not having her father around. It's so simple. Forgive and you'll be fine, young lady. And apparently somebody got to her. I don't know if her. Oh, I think she said. Somebody said her mother told her, don't be putting your business out there. Something like that about the parents. I'm not sure how it went. But according to Billboard. Uh, Sala explained her previous video and she explained that she wasn't trying to bash her parents. She's right. She's not trying to bash her parents. She's looking for help to overcome, to get control of herself. And if anyone said that to her, you're bashing your parents, they're lying, they're evil. Pay that no mind, young lady. You're doing the right thing. Go and forgive. I hope that we can hashtag or do something, put this video out there for her. You're separated from your father, so what? You, that anger is of your mother. You have your mother's identity. She hates your father. She turned you away from him. But the, that void that you have, that anger that you have, is of your mother and yearning for your father. Forgive, and you'll be free. Here is where she... Uh, 
here's where she, so on the billboard, she explained that she wasn't bashing her parents. And she wasn't. If you listen closely, she's not bashing, she's seeking. Here's where she described how she hate the strong single black mother and described her mother as an overbearing army general. Watch this. I'm not trying to like perpetuate a situation where my child has no father and I'm strong single black mom <laughs> who has food, the, the, the jobs and is the breadwinner and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to be that. I actually don't <laughs> like I actually don't want to be that honestly I, I I hate it I despise it I despise it and honestly it was the other day where it clicked for me because I was talking to my mom and I was like and she was like you know talking about all this shit. and then I was like damn you sound like a fucking army general <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. But it's crazy because she's being so honest about it. Yeah. In a genuine way. It's not, it's not exactly. anger is truly seeking. Right. She's hurting for her father and her mother, a strong black woman. She said, she, she ain't for all that. I, know. I, I, ain't, I ain't for all that ass. And that's so cool because her family comes from, these are superstars. Bob Marley, superstar. Lauren Hill, superstar, right? Yeah. But then their kid is still messed up but it's crazy that even in in that life she still can see that education and and Strong the black woman. is not the answer uh -uh. <laughs> she have money so she must have money because her parents have money she getting all the stuff she want right but it's not fulfilling the spiritual issue the longing of a father so, Jerry, would you rather marry Lorna Hill or Tommy Lauren? <laughs> La the, the the black girl. <laughs> What's her name? Lauren? Uh, Lauren. 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 No, no. Oh, La Lord. I'm black. What's her know. name? Nick. Nick can't hear us. Oh, Tommy Laren. Laren. Who would you rather marry? Tommy Laren, who think that she's all that uh, go get a beautiful, educated, <laughs> or Lauren Hill. L Lauren Hill's daughter, yeah, uh, Selah or Selah. Yeah, Selah. Um, Selah for sure, because she could already tell she's she sees she's seeing the truth. She don't want that. She sees the mistakes that her her mom made. Yeah. So she's on her way. She's already decent. You know, she's on her way. She just needs to. Somebody that, need to whisper to her. Yeah. Go forgive your mother for screwing you up, and love your father. You'll be fine. She'll make for yeah. a good wife and a good mother. Right. Because that's what she wants. She's not into all that other stuff. Amazing. Go and forgive Lauren. No. <laughs> That's her name? Salah or something. Oh, Salah. Is her name Salah, Nick? I'll be right back, folks. I think it's Salah. So if you see Salah, tell her you understand if you do understand. Oh, you did the same thing. You went through the same thing. And what set you free? You forgave your mother for turning you away from your father. Don't ask for forgiveness because you're right. You're not responsible. You're responsible as an adult to seek and overcome. Go and forgive your father, your mother, for turning you away from your father and forgive your father for not being there, and you'll be fine. Somebody tell him y'all see her. All right? Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America, and it's going to take all of us to do it.